the Houston Rockets cruised their way to a 110-96 win over the Utah Jazz this past Sunday, I have to admit that I didn't expect such a lopsided win because of how hard our newly minted second-round opponent plays. But they simply could not keep up with the frenetic pace of the Houston Rockets, but it's been the same story all season, a team can defend the Houston Rockets as hard as they want but if they can't counteract with their own offense quickly on the other end, then it's pretty much a rep for the game. The Jazz did hang in there for a bit but this team's firepower was way too great for them to overcome, the game was pretty much a rep at the half, the aforementioned is one of the factors but other is certainly fatigue. Think about it, the Jazz just got through grinding out a tough win over the Oklahoma City Thunder in their Game 7 matchup that Friday night and had to take a plane ride to H-Town. To start the series at our house, it's huge factor because the Rockets had four days of rest after gracefully putting the Minnesota Timberwolves to sleep in Game 5 of the first round this past Wednesday. So one week later, the Houston Rockets are set to do battle with a Jazz and I certainly expect more from this Jazz team. Rudy Gobert is an excellent defender but you won't see donut holes in the stat sheet by his name in the early goings, it took him until close to half time for him to score his first bucket of the game, he only had a couple of rebounds at that, Clint Capella, once again, did a terrific job in defending and playing both ends of the floor more from House of Houston elegantly, remember those days when he'd be apt to pick up quick, unnecessary fouls, they're over. He ended finishing with 16 points, 12 rebounds, 1 block, 1 steal and 2 fouls, the crazy thing is this guy hasn't hit his peak yet, the Rockets are going to have no choice but to match his any offers he gets this summer as a restricted free agent, I don't want to see Capella leap whatsoever. But back to the game, James Harden put up the 8th of July 41, while Chris Paul put up the 4th of June 17 and even the gritty PJ. Tucker chipped in 15 sixths, we keep playing like this and it might be a quick series against the Jazz, priming us up for the destined Western Conference Finals matchup with the Golden State Warriors. But the Jazz will be looking a lot better tonight and expect the Rockets to be challenged profusely, especially Donovan Mitchell, who is likely the runaway candidate for Rookie of the Year, and is just a pleasure to watch. Whenever Ricky Rubio is healthy and ready to play, that's going to pose an obstacle because of the opportunities he creates for his teammates. Rubio's career has been revitalized in Quinn Snyder's system and this was certainly the player I expected to see when he was drafted but I'm scratching my head as why we're barely seeing this now. Nonetheless, it'll be a great battle tonight and I'm certainly looking forward to it. The Rockets will take on the Jazz tonight at Toyota Center, tip-off is scheduled for 7 p.m and the game will be televised on TNT and broadcast on 740 AM, KTRH, and La Ranchera 850 AM in Spanish.